Hey guys, Yasiel here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a really cheap DIY uh, Bluetooth speaker that I put together. Um, the components were really cheap that I picked up online from AliExpress and using some speakers that I had lying around and a lithium-ion battery. Okay, so I had um, two of these uh, Samsung home theater speakers lying around. They actually came from a 5.1 uh, home theater system. And these speakers were co literally collecting dust in the cupboard and I, I, haven't, I haven't used them. So um, I thought what better way to put them to use than to, uh, to, to build a, a Bluetooth speaker. Um, so these speakers, I'm not quite sure exactly what, uh, you know, what the actual watts on these speakers. Um, I do know the impedance is 6 ohms, but I, I'm honestly not sure what the, ex the exact uh, wattage is. Um, I'm going to assume that it's either a 10 or a 15 watt speaker because they're not very big. Um, but looking looking at the actual circuitry, uh, I just want to go through the components quickly. Um, here I have a Bluetooth module. Uh, this module uh, you can plug into a 3.5 mm jack and it has its own lithium ion battery on it. Um, so this, uh, I haven't really tested how long this uh, this module lasts uh, but I've used it for hours and I haven't had an issue um, so this charges yeah this can charge via normal micro USB um, and at the time I, uh, I I didn't have a a amp that had integrated blue Bluetooth on it so I used this instead um, and it, it, it works quite well um, this this um, this Bluetooth amp only cost um, uh, $3.49 um, and this is one of the most expensive parts uh, of this build. Um, so yeah, that's uh, I, I used this as the, the Bluetooth uh, receiver. I sold it on a 3.5mm uh, jack, a PAM8430 uh, amp. This amp is actually rated to be powered at f uh, between 25 volts or 5 volts. Um, I'll, talk, uh, I'll, I'll go through w w how I'm supplying this with power just now. Um, but I'm using this as the uh, as the main amp to drive these two speakers. This amp is actually a stereo, so it's a dual channel three watt amp, and I'm pretty surprised at how powerful um, this little amp is. And I I paid uh, for ten of these amps. I paid uh, one dollar ninety five. So it's about just close to twenty cents per chip, um, which is which is absolutely cheap. Um, the next thing is a little PCB switch. Uh, I bought a pack of 10 of these for uh, 95 cents um, and this is a little TP4056 uh, lithium ion uh, charge protection board and over discharge uh, overcharge protection. Uh, this uh, is, um, I, bought a, I bought them for about 60 cents each. So to power this, I, I wanted something that could be really tiny um, and not too uh, bulky. Uh, so I, I decided to use just a single cell. I was going to use a step up converter with this battery because this battery's nominal voltage is only 3.7 volts. However, I had some issues with using a, a boost converter where um, the amp, uh, once you increase the volume, it started cutting out. So I, I looked at the spec for this PAM8430 chip and it actually says it can be rated, it can be used with, a, with between 2.5 volts to 5 volts. Um, ideally, it would. I'd like it to be powered by five volts, but to get away from that, I I just use the battery directly. So this battery is a, a, an 18650 that I recovered from a um, I salvaged from an old laptop battery, and I did write here very untidily, unfortunately, uh, 1414. So it's 1,414 uh, milliamp hours. So uh, this um, this 18650 is powering this whole unit, um, except of course of, for this Bluetooth module. And so this fully charged will be 4.2 volts and this, uh, the protection board will, will cut the voltage out before it gets too low. So um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it, before it, it dips below um, 3 volts, I'm, I'm not sure, I stand to be corrected on that. Uh, but this chip will definitely uh, prevent it from being uh, over discharged. Um, so I was like, I, I, was, I connected the battery up uh, to the circuit just to test it and it worked pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. This is actually a very, very simple uh, kit to put together. Um, and it took me 
uh, about an hour 45 minutes uh, to solder all of these guys on cool so uh, time for a quick demo let me turn this Bluetooth module on I just have to press and hold and these two lights will start flickering and hopefully it will connect to um, the cell phone once it starts flashing there, then we're good to go. Okay, there we go. Um, so the Bluetooth module's on. I just need to turn the power on with the switch. Um, and now I know it is powered on. So let's play some music. So this is at, on the iPhone, this is actually, um, let me leave this down here. Let's see if we can get this. This is actually, not sure you can see that volume, but it's actually okay. That's off, and that's the um, let's say 10%, and then just increase the volume with it. Because you've been gone, growing old, so it, it does get quite loud. Um, like I said, I was very impressed with the, the quality of. Um, of this actual Bluetooth speaker, I was um, the volume as well. It it does get quite loud. Uh, let me reduce this. Um, yeah, so I'm very very happy with this. I you get a few meters. I I was you could I, I could move the phone uh, to the other end of the room and, and it'll still play fine. Um, but there you go. I mean, this bull costs less than ten dollars. Um, but if you include shipping and a few cents, it'll come to ten dollars. I got most of these components from. Hold on, let me pause this. I got most of these components from AliExpress, um, uh, and some of and the battery, of course. I, I had salvage as well as the speakers. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. I will leave the seller listings in the description below. Um, thanks for watching. Cheers.